Back to Von Miller as part of his event where he was referring to the Broncos as we. He said, I feel like I'll be ready week run. Remember, he tore the ACL last year, Thanksgiving. They led us to believe it wasn't, and then it turned out it was. The big investment in the pass rusher that the Bills made last year blows up. I love guarantees. It's me. It's Vaughn. I love guarantees. I want to play. In 2013, I had ACL surgery in January. I played at the beginning of August in the preseason. That put me around seven months, eight months. I feel great. I feel comfortable. I feel like I'll be ready to go at the start of the season. I want to be ready week one versus the Jets, Aaron Rodgers, Monday Night Football. But at the same time, I'm not in control of that. I'm going to do everything I can physically, mentally, emotionally to be ready for that. But if it's not the first week of the season, it won't be any longer than week six. He's mentioned week six before. Yeah. I think this all comes down to whether or not he's on the pup list to start the regular season when they cut the 53 on the roster or whether they hold him until week six. It doesn't sound like they're going to keep him on the roster unless they are damn sure he's going to be ready to go to start the season, that they'll just wait until week six and give him that extra time. And I think that that, he's mentioned week six a couple times. I think he knows that's where it's going to go. The rest of it is just wishful things. I I think so too. You're right. Like if everything lines up the right way, week one, and wow, I really feel way better than I thought I was going to feel in the middle of August or, you know, early August, uh, late July. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, I mean, you know, to his point right there, You know, okay, yes, in January of 2013, you tore your ACL. Well, that was 10 years ago. You're not the same guy. As much as you're still an awesome physical freak, you know, I would think his body takes a little longer to heal now, you know, to being 10 years older, a few more car crashes and hits on the body and everything there. And, like, it does feel like he's throwing that out there just to get people to wrap their head around it like we talk about. And why risk it like we've talked about? Like, who, who gives a crap with Von Miller? The, the Bills are good enough to be able to hold down the fort for five weeks, six weeks without Von Miller. You know, the, the Bills have, as we've talked about, have officially crossed over, and we know this is a big year for them, of like, they're a Super Bowl contender. It's about setting themselves up to make the run when it's most important. They got enough veteran leaders and battle testedness in their in their team now to, to hold down the fort with Von, without Von Miller for the first few weeks of the season. And I think part of it, too, remember last year they went into the season with this plan. Brandon Bean, the GM of the team, explained it to Peter King. They were not going to overuse Vaughn Miller. They wanted to have him ready to pass rush in the stretch run when the big games arrive. And what happened? By December, he was done. So if you just take the first six weeks of the season and set them aside, those are six games where you are taking off the table the possibility of another Vaughn Miller injury. And I think they're scarred by that. I think it's one of the reasons why they didn't go all in for Odell Beckham Jr. It's one of the reasons they may have some trepidation about DeAndre Hopkins. Maybe they have a hard limit on what they're going to pay, and they're not going to go above that. If the Chiefs want to pay more than that and take him, fine. We don't want the injury risk. We don't want it to blow up in our face again. And I know I, I know that folks in Buffalo, I think, misperceive my point here when I say this. Folks in the organization get a little antsy. They get a little nervous. They think there's some malice in this. I'm just recognizing what any of us who have a history in this sport should recognize. You can't knock on the door every year, every year, every year without opening it up. You can't just keep knocking. Sooner or later, what's going to happen in Buffalo is what happened to John Fox in Denver when it was we for Vaughn Miller. Out went Fox, in came Gary Kubiak. At some point, they make major changes. And if there's any type of nervousness, and there should be, if there's any real anxiety about signing another big-name player and having an injury and, well, we don't get to use that person when we need him. And with Vaughn Miller, this is year two. We want him to be available for the playoffs. We're going to go very easy. We're going to be very conservative with him every step of the way. We want him to be healthy in January. We can get to January without him. We need him in January. I feel like that's the mission this year, and they understand the stakes keep getting higher and higher. Every year they don't win a Super Bowl with with Josh Allen on the roster or get to a Super Bowl with Josh Allen on the roster is more pressure on everyone the next year. It's going to keep ratcheting up and ratcheting up until they finally do it. Yeah, well, you're right about that. I mean, Josh Allen, he's got all-time great talent. I mean, we're we're watching a guy that's got Elway-ish, Marino-ish. It's that. He just doesn't have some of the hardware to go by, go by, or sit next to him right now for the rest of the public to like verify it, you know, because that's what the public needs. They need the hardware there. But you and I know. I mean, 
man, I mean, he's he's a walking highlight machine. He's amazing, and that does put pressure on the organization, like you're talking about. I think it's real. You know, I think all the reasons, the things you talked about, what we talked about at the end of the season about lack of blue chip players and playmakers, that's the reason you don't play Von Miller the first six weeks if you feel like it's even close. Ty goes to keep him out for six weeks, make sure Von Miller, veteran player, played a ton of football, make sure he's ready to go. He'll get right back in the swing of things in no time. That type of player always does. He's his, This ain't his first rodeo. So I wouldn't worry about that with Von Miller. You know, And go back to that, if you guys can pull up that the sack stats there from Buffalo and the QB hits and all that. I mean, that shows you how much they need. He didn't play the last eight weeks of the year, and he still led the team in all the quarterback hit categories. I mean, if that doesn't say you how much they need him, you know, then I don't know. And then, of course, in the AFC, like we've talked about a million times too, with those quarterbacks, if you think you're going to go and, and beat Joe Burrow and Mahomes and Deshaun Watson and Lamar Jackson with that pass rush without Von Miller, the pass rush we saw at the end of the year, no way. There's no way they're going to beat those the, beat those guys. So that would be another reason I'd I'd say let's let's keep him on the shelf here until he's ready to go. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.